Hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you using vb.net how to configure gmail smtp port and host name and send mail successfully right now I am on the source code of vb.net and this source code contains a bootstrap CDN links and a table which contains a three text boxes one button control and one little control just for the time saving I have added this code Let's build a solution. Build succeeded. We'll check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser. Run. And here is the designing part of that source code. Let's flip back to my coding part. We'll write a code to send an email to Gmail account. Right click the source code. View code. If you want to send an email, first thing we need to import the namespaces those are imports system dot net imports system dot net dot mail after adding these two namespaces now I can access the classes of this namespaces so we need a button control event for that go to the designing part double click the send button and here we got the button click event in this button click event dim mm as mail message class is equals to new mail message this mail message class takes two parameters one is the from address from my email id Charan 3k at gmail.com at gmail.com comma and the second parameter takes a two email ID. the two is the text email dot text property mm dot subject is equals to text subject dot text mm dot body is equals to text message dot text mm dot is body html is equals to false after creating the mail message objects now we need to add the SMTP client class then SMTP as SMTP client is equals to new SMTP client SMTP dot host the host name of the Gmail the Gmail host name is SMTP dot Gmail dot com SMTP dot port the port number is the integer value and the gmail port number is 587 smtp.enableSSL is equals to true after adding the smtp port and host name now we need the gmail credentials dim nc as network credential is equals to new network credential and this network credential takes two parameters one is my username which is my email id and the password here my gmail id is the same one this one chantrika at gmail.com and the password password just for the security reasons I am not mentioning my real password but at the time of sending the email I will change into my real credentials SMTP dot use default credentials is equals to true SMTP dot credentials is equals to the network credential object now we need to send the mail message send method 
which takes uh, this one mail message object I'm copying here and pasting that. and the last one is I need to get a message on the browser the mail has been successfully sent literal control ID dot text is equals to mail has been sent successfully that's it let's build a solution build succeeded now it's a testing time on the browser Now I want to send an email, one of my gmail account which is aaronrupee.in at gmail.com The subject is the subject vb.net gmail and the message this is Charan. Before I send this message let's open my gmail account aaronrupee.in at gmail.com Now I want to receive an email to this gmail account which is aaronrupee.in at gmail.com Let's switch back to the browser, we'll send an email Now it's time to shoot an email, send Here we got the message, mail has been successfully sent Let's check my inbox See here we got the new mail charan 3k vb.net gmail this is charan let's open it that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos